joining me is Mr. Patrick Liu. So he is the founder, okay, of Success Resources. He is also the regional director of uh, Gardner Group. Formerly the regional Formerly. director, yeah. I look after the whole Asia Pacific region at one stage in my life, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and previously he was the CEO and chairman of HSR. That's right. Uh, we were we were a publicly listed company on SGX. Mm -hmm. That's my third company that I have to list uh, in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. He has decades worth of experience in property investing. But still a lifelong learner. Still a lifelong learner, correct. And also uh, under his belt, right? He has uh, a lot of experience also in like marketing, local and overseas properties. Right? A little bit of experience but still learning. Still learning, okay. So uh, okay, so this afternoon he will share with you some insights on some property investments and how uh, you can become a better property investor. Okay. So the first question I have for Dr. Patrick Liu is uh, if you have if I have gotten my first property, right? If I haven't gotten my first property, okay, what would be a good property to invest in? That's a very good question. There's really no absolute answer. In other words, there's no perfect property that meets the needs, wants, and requirements of every single investor. I share with my students to look for three very important factors. Some, first of all, is the support factors. What are the fundamentals that will ensure that you have a safe, secure, and sustainable returns? Secondly, look for what I call the strategic factors. What strategy can you adopt and apply in your investment to ensure that you maximize your returns on investment? And then thirdly, I ask them to look at what I call your strength factors. What are your strengths, what are your theme strengths to ensure that you can enjoy uh, good returns for a long time to come? For example, you know, if you're very good at say interior decoration, interior construction, or you can work towards being an expert in this area, then use your expertise, you know, to apply in property investment and use the expertise to be able to maximize your profits. Next question I have, right, is I want to invest in my first property, but uh, I don't know, I don't have enough money. So okay. what should I do? Very good. So I want to share with you two very important principles that you need to remember. First of all, you know, the, the source of poverty is not because of money. Okay. It is because of a lack of capacity and capability to go and earn money, spend money, save money, invest money, and give away money wisely. Uh, if you look at all the poorest people in the world, they always complain they don't have money. But if you look at rich people, the problem is not that they don't have money, they don't have opportunities. So I always tell my students, your job you know, is to be able to go out there and learn how to find good opportunities. I tell people this, that the greatest poverty is not a poverty of money. The greatest poverty is a poverty of dreams, discipline and actions. If you're willing to learn how to invest, if you're willing to find good investment, money will come to you. So let me quickly share with you how I uh, bought my first investment when I was a very young man, probably even younger than you. You know, I uh, learned how to look for a good investment. Then I go to somebody who is uh, well-to-do and I say, let me make you an offer. You invest 10%, I look after the other 90% and then when we make money, you take 50% and I take 50%. So I found a property that was owned by a gambler. So he was willing to sell at a very low price because he's desperate for money. And I look at his investment, not only is he selling at, at an underpriced uh, value, at an underpriced uh, level, he's also selling at an undervalued uh, price because I can add value to a property and even increase the profit. So cut long story short, he gave me $30,000, the bank lent me another $120,000. We sold the property for $600,000, which means, which means we make $300,000. One and a half months later, I went back to him and said, you give me your $30,000, now I'm giving back $150,000. I'm helping you to make 500% profit. Until today, he's still my friends. In fact, I have 3,000 of such investors that call me literally every day and say, Patrick, are there any more good news? So my challenge to all of you is this. If you're willing to work hard, learn, and go and find good investment, there will be a lot of people who will be more than willing to finance you. Why not? If you can help them make money, why would they not finance you and earn even more money, more money for themselves? Basically, it's not the lack of resource, but the lack of resourcefulness. That's right, Yuan. It's not a lack of resource. Uh, resources and lack of resourcefulness. If you are willing to be resourceful by learning, by improving, by getting better results, 
and then money will come towards you. That's called the law of precession, by the way. Law? Law of precession. In other words, you know, learn to value at to your own life, learn to value add to other people's life. Mm -hmm. And then as a result, you will attract money to you. You will attract resourcefulness, resources to you. You will attract talents to you. You attract all kinds of good things to you. Basically focus on what you can give instead of focusing on what you can take. That's right. The quality of your contribution is more important than the quantity of your possession. It is the quality of your contribution, not the quantity of possession, that ultimately determine the quality of your life and of your achievement. Uh, okay, thank you very much, Patrick. Let's move on to the next question. Okay. What do I need to look out for before investing in property? Look out for a few uh, major factors. First of all, the macro factors. That means what are the political and social economic factors that will be the fundamental to help you to make good profits. Secondly, look at the micro factors. What are the supply and demand factors and the sentiments of the market that will ensure that there will be a strong supporting factors to help you to grow your returns and investment. Then look at the micro segment. Look at the, the quality of the developer, the location, the property, the environment and all the other factors that will ensure that you will always have a safe, stable, secure and sustainable returns. Okay, thank you very much. So the last question I have right here is Okay, let's say after I bought my first property, right, and I want to invest my second property. Okay, how do I go about doing it? I teach our students uh, to be able to uh, build a portfolio of property investments. First, look for a good property that will give you very strong capital and rental yield. And then, after you've done that, you know, at an appropriate time, refinance your property so that the second property will also refinance your first property to be the down payment for the second property but ensure that both properties still continue to have strong capital gain and strong rental yield. In other words, your monthly uh, rental in, uh, income should be able to take care of your monthly installment to the lenders basically. And then if you discipline yourself and continue to grow this portfolio of property investment, in a short while time, you will be financially free. So I tell people, invest with your brains and not with your heart. Fall in love with the numbers, but not fall in love with the properties. That means do everything you can to be able to research about property and then uh, tap on the expertise of uh, smart and, and uh, good professionals and be able to discipline yourself to execute, execute uh, effectively, efficiently and efficaciously. You should be able to achieve financial freedom. And that's what we do for our students. We have arguably the largest uh, community of property investors and we help them uh, by uh, teaching them uh, and then working with them on a lifelong learning journey. We give them personal guidance, we show them our research, give them templates to make sure they do the right thing and do, 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 don't do the wrong things and then expose them to opportunities uh, of, uh, uh, that is provided to people who know how to invest and show them how to invest and guide them and by doing this we have helped a lot of students to become multi-millionaires. Okay, thank you very much Patrick. Uh, I, if I'm not wrong, you're also the author of uh, a book, correct? I'm an author of uh, three different books. Uh, I've created, I've, I wrote a book called True Wealth, uh, which means that how do you go beyond uh, achieving financial freedom to have uh, money freedom, time freedom, lifestyle freedom, and contribution freedom. I've also uh, compiled a book on sustainable leadership because I believe uh, the greatness of an organization depend, depends on the greatness of the leaders and the greatness of the teamwork. And I've also written a book on sustainable success. In other words, how do you ensure that you have safe, stable, secure and sustainable success throughout your lifetime? There's a lot of books that you've written, eh? I've, uh, I love to write and I love to think, I love to research. So uh, if you are my Facebook friend, look up for me, Dr. Patrick Liu on Facebook. And I promise my students that every day I will send you a free lesson. And the free lesson covers everything from uh, wealth, success, uh, relationship, uh, family, uh, friendship, all the way to uh, economics, uh, politics and uh, societal values that will help you to be a much better person. So join me as my Facebook friend. Okay. And also you have a property investing seminar coming up. I have uh, uh, quite a few uh, property seminars uh, coming up. Uh, after I sold most of my shares in my public listed company, I feel it is my calling to be able to share with everybody my experience, my expertise, my exposure, and how uh, 
uh, I can help uh, different people to be able to create work through property investment. So look out for my property investment. Uh, it's all over the Facebook. I have uh, 20 over channel partners that actually promote my seminars basically. When's the next one coming up? Uh, the next one will be coming up. Uh, I do this uh, three or four times every month. And uh, come and join me because uh, not only will I share with you powerful models and strategies and actionable steps to help you become uh, financially free, I also have at least uh, three or four question and answer session to meet your to meet your needs, your wants, and your requirements. So I tailor my contents, I customize my presentation to be able to help you. All right, thank you so much, Patrick. So if you want to uh, if you want to go for a seminar, you can uh, click in the links uh, either above or bottom, or put it in the description. And also, if you want to follow Patrick on social media, you can also do that also. So I hope you uh, learn something from Mr. Pat Dr. Patrick Liu. And I hope to see you soon again. Bye -bye. See you. Take care. Bye-bye.